Grand Rising to the Collective. Y'all know we back with another banger, another reaction. I appreciate everybody who been tapping in, running up, and subbing up. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notify when we drop an upload. Y'all know we coming with them four videos a week, man. And this is for entertainment purposes as well. And when you like and comment and subscribe to the channel, it helps Collective grow, helps Collective get bigger, helps more people who like this type of content tap in with this content. But y'all know what today is, man. Your boy just hit 31. I, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm hyped. I'm hyped, bro. It's been a blessing. Man, life didn't change. Life got real. Life, yeah, life's been lifing. But it's good, though. Life's been good. All I'm gonna say is I'm happy. So y'all know today, I came with some of the most. Today, I was trying to get the, the newest and I was trying to get some of the hottest hottest clips that y'all can find, that I could find. And I hope y'all enjoy it, bro. But yeah, today, today, man, we made it to 31, bro. Thank God. Y'all don't even know how, how appreciative I am to just be here, be able to be with y'all. I thought I, I thought about going live, maybe. If I do, I'll put it in the community tab. So maybe I will go live on my birthday. The first time we go live will be on my birthday. But I appreciate the collective, and I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Let's get straight to the video, man. Let's go. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Let's go. Kick in the door, wave in the four four. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. These are my confessions. Who the fuck is Papa Usher? Did he? You guys know what the owl is? Uh, well, yeah, that's, that's. No, 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 no. Oh, no? <laughs> no, we're just walking around and talking. I thought you saw it. We can walk away, though. We're just trying to learn what's going on with the owl. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. You don't know. The locals were immediately on guard. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? I worked there before you left. You worked there? Whoa, what did you see? Uh, a lot of things that I cannot talk about. Actually? Yeah. Would you give us, um, theoretically, what might you have seen if someone were to work there? I cannot talk about that. Did you sign a document? Mm, nope, and I cannot talk about it. Did you partake in anything? Have a wonderful day, sir. Okay, wow. Just be careful, okay? Be careful? Do you think we're dealing with things that are much more powerful? Well, I can say. What did he see? You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? Yeah, I used to work there like 10, 15 years ago. Oh, I don't want to be on camera. Oh. You know, they play That's the bombing where everybody went to the South Carolina. What was that? I, never mind. Everyone here knew something about the Grove until they saw my little camera. It's probably not a good place to be going unless you know what you're doing. What do you mean? Um, there's a lot of rich, uh, crazy people up there. Try to get in? I, my father was in. Oh, he was in the club? Yeah. Who was he? Mason. Oh, he was Mason? 39th. Did you inherit his will? His Freemason will? I can't, I can't disclose that. Okay. Is there anything we should know? Mm, probably not... Probably, probably you, you want to mess with it. Okay. No, I'm done here. All right, all right. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate you. That's it. What would happen? I don't know. You know anything about the Bohemian Grove? No, know lots about the Bohemian Grove. Would you like to share? No. It, uh, is there some darkness to it? Don't fail me. Hit the road. Yeah, okay. I ain't gonna lie. When I first heard Bohemian Grove, I didn't know it was that bad. I thought it was like... I don't know. I, I I didn't think it was that bad, but it ain't no something, bro. Because hey, hey, think about how fast they switch. They be cool, right? They be ready to give up information, and talk, have a conversation with them, and then as soon as they see the camera, have a good day, bro. Like they don't want no parts. Dude, they said that his father was a mason. Man, look, he, he we know he inherited he inherited that will. We know that he just ain't could possibly even be a part of him, but he ain't gonna come out and say that. I mean, come on, would you? If you was, would you come out and say that? But he gave, he he knew a lot. He knew a lot, and he was about to go deeper. But I think dude kind of, kind of was rushing the conversation a little bit, asking too much. Just let him come out and tell you. But he got enough content, and it was multiple people giving up different indications that something going on in Bohemian Grove. We already know that though. We know what's going on in Bohemian Grove. But and they on Diddy ass, bro. I know y'all seeing the headlines. Jay-Z came across the headlines too. I'm trying to find some videos on that topic. And then I'll bring that to y'all. But yeah, damn his ass, boy. <laughs> Diddy got them boys on him.
I think it's just going to get weirder and weirder and weirder, and finally, it's going to be so weird that people are going to have to talk about how weird it is. I look for the invention of artificial life, the cloning of human beings, uh, possible contact with extraterrestrials, possible human immortality, and at the same time, appalling acts of brutality, race bathing, uh, famine, starvation, because uh, the systems which are in place to keep the world sane are in utterly inadequate to the forces that have been unleashed. Uh, the collapse of the socialist world, the rise of the internet. There is a huge, huge forest fire in Mexico, you guys. This is in Veracruz, Mexico. Now, the fire started three days ago on the 23rd, and this is yesterday, y'all. This is as of yesterday. The fire is still going on. Um, and they are having trouble putting this out. This is huge. Look at that, y'all. It's the whole mountain. It's like the whole side of this mountain. Ahí está. Miren, ojalá y alguien nos pueda apoyar. Ojalá el gobierno del estado aprecie esto que está pasando. Tenga un poco, no sé, mandar. Yo no sé, la verdad, si son helicópteros, son aviones y traen agua. Yo no sé. But yeah, man, y'all see what's going on, and these people are just driving by. I mean, what can you do at this point? What can you do? So many things going on in this world, you guys. You have to find your peace within, because as the world really burns from the outside, you have to have the peace from within in order not to go crazy. You see everybody else going crazy right now. Mental illness is at an all-time high. This goes right in line with the frequency of 4D and 5D that's entering the planet right now. So there's going to be a lot of changes taking place. But yeah, you see the world going through it, y'all. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning my frequency. Let's get this shit. Peace out. It is definitely the end of the world, y'all. Chick-fil-A is changing all of its chickens its all its location due to the lack of supply. Chick-fil-A is going back on its pledge to serve antibiotic-free chicken. The fast food chain has it had adopted that policy nearly a decade ago, but starting this year, the company says it will now serve chicken with limited antibiotics. Chick-fil-A blamed the change on supply chain issues. Antibiotics have long been used to boost rapid weight gain in animals for food production. However, U.S. regulators put restrictions on the practice, citing evidence that the use of antibiotics in animals has led to resistance to the drugs in humans, making it harder for them to help us fight off did you catch what she said she said having these antibiotics in our body makes it hard for us to fight illnesses i was not aware chick-fil-a had a pledge i mean it doesn't matter to me because i'm plant-based but at the same time this is big news because you're literally going back on the promise so my thing is why did it take them so long because kfc has been serving G uh, gmo chicken for some time now where do they get their product from to go from no antibiotics ever to limited antibiotics, which basically destroys our immune system because you just heard her say this helps us not fight illnesses. And the most profound thing about this is people are still going to eat this. You know what I'm saying? Because this is what the Matrix does. So, yeah, does that change your perception of Chick-fil-A, y'all? I mean, like I said, you know, what if you've been eating it all your life? You had no idea. What if they just been feeding you guys GMO chicken all this time or styrofoam chicken all this time? What if that? What is that? What do y'all think about that? But yeah, this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I'm only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift, y'all. Peace out. Look, the first place I saw the Chick-fil-A chicken was Instagram, and then I clicked it. And then as I was doing my compilation, it's getting the videos together. Then I'm like, oh, bro, it's on TikTok. How I feel about that is... I won't be eating Chick-fil-A no more. <laughs> That's out. I stopped eating In-N-Out. In-N-Out was, I had In-N-Out and I got messed, I got sick. I got sick, messed up, bro. So I stopped eating it for like a year. I ate it one time in 2023. We was doing these reactions. I seen a video of it with some stuff about it. I had it pulled, they actually, YouTube pulled it down, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's one of the videos they pulled down. And they, yeah, 
they got some stuff in their meat that ain't too good. So I was like, yeah, I'm straight. And the way they hit it, I was like, I'm good. Now we got Chick-fil-A. They out. McDonald's already been out. But it's like, that's why I said in the previous video, man, when you start to tap in, you start to dive down different rabbit holes and pull out them threads, bro. You start noticing too much. And you start questioning everything you do. And then you start realizing you can't eat nothing, bro. <laughs> Spam it up if you agree. That's how I see it. But, hey, yeah, Chick-fil-A, out. And how y'all feel about, y'all know what they, what they, y'all know they be starting them. Y'all know how them fires get going. We know how them fires get going. Now, I do want to ask the collective, can we not vibrate so low? And y'all know, like, I'm talking about off the fear. Because I be seeing some of the comments, and people be in fear of Jamashri. People be fear of, you know, let's, let's not vibrate so low, because we can't get no work done vibrating that low. We can't manifest what we really want to manifest when we vibrate that low. So my question to y'all today is, can we not vibrate so low and be in fear of everything? Let's be understanding that these things are at hand. It's an interesting time. Interesting topics are occurring. Interesting things we see on camera. But can we think on how to make moves together rather than fearing? Because as we fear, nothing going to work. That's my, that's, that's my question to y'all today. Can we do that? Spam it up if y'all if y'all with that or not. First we go inside, right? Then we'll just talk a little. Then Annie will distract Lindsay. That's when we go upstairs to the first bedroom on the left. You got it? Okay. First I rip your clothes off. I don't rip my blouse. It's expensive, idiot. Then you rip my clothes off. Then we rip Lindsay's clothes off. Yeah, I think I got it. Totally. <laughs> You know, I wish they showed the, the name of the movie. Now I gotta go search through comments and try to find the name of the movie. But if anybody know the name of the movie, can y'all let me know? Let me know if it's a good movie too. Don't spoil it for me though. Small thing. Don't spoil it. Just let me know if it's a fire movie or not. So if I should go invest my time and check it out. But I also wanna say, when they do, if they ever do pull out a Blue Bean project, bro, all the people, I'm gonna just say this now. I'm gonna say it now. All the people who are afraid of aliens now, gonna really be scared then. I ain't gonna be scared. I know it's them. And I'm gonna just try to get, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try to stay calm as possible. But I'm probably gonna be so mad and my mind gonna be, the wheel gonna be turning. How can I, how can I improvise all of them making this move on me? Like, what's my next move? Like, that's what I would be thinking. But I ain't gonna be afraid thinking that, oh, it's aliens. I know who it is. I know who, who I know who it really is, bro. They ain't fooling me. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna just say that now. I'm gonna just say that now. Project Blue Beam, when I see something wild happening in the sky, I know who it is. Y'all, I wanna know if y'all heard about Elon Musk made coming out saying that he introduced her to a portal and then he pulled her into a portal and asked her, did she want to see his friends? And when she seen them, like when she went through the portal, she said she seen large bird-like people. Mind you, this lady is 70 something years old. Like she said that she seen large bird-like people or whatever the case may be. And she said it picked her up and she was so scared that all she could do was to pray to God. And eventually the bird just threw her down or whatever the case may be. And then after they came out the portal, he was like, what's wrong? You don't like my friends? So she immediately asked his mom, like, do you think that he's the Antichrist? His mom said no, but he will bring the, he will be the one to bring the Antichrist in. When I say I have chills, like, y'all, the world is really coming to an end. I would not lie, like, even in the Bible, they said in the last day, those strongholds will fall. 
the strongholds have been falling. Dan Schneider, P. Diddy, and so many other people are getting arrested and everything, prosecuting and everything for all of the crimes that they have committed over the years. This is crazy. Y'all agree with it? Did Elon open them portals? Okay, what's her number? Hi. I'm getting about 30 calls about you on my phone, and I'm, I'm a gangster. So you better f me if you have right now before there's trouble with you yourself. You understand that? You're f with the mom over here. You better leave now. Got I, it? I apologize. You better leave now. What? What's going on? The sooner you leave, the better. Okay. I will be the gone then. Street. I will be gone. You're not gone yet. As soon as you go, you I, go I will be gone. Thank you very much for your business. I don't, I don't want to f*** the mob. Okay. All right. So there you go. Damn. What the hell he do? They on his ass. that type of money and status he knew it was coming he had somebody tip him off he knew it was coming he probably was just he was nervous he was nervous bro hey the feet the feet was the nervous signal right there where he's like oh bro he got his mind running he thinking about a lot but Flav didn't shake his hand I want to know did, did Flav not shake his hand because he pissed somebody off in them Hollywood in the Hollywood uh circle or is it because Flavor Flav know all the stuff he done did over the years? Which one y'all think it is? I'm still trying to figure that one out for my damn self. But that's a question. I want y'all to let me know what y'all what y'all believe in on that one. But me personally, I think that Diddy knew it was coming. Diddy did did a lot. He didn't got away with a lot. And it's only so much you can get away with before that shit come around on your ass. That's what I feel like happening right now. My B. And with the mob coming in there asking the streamer to leave, what y'all think the streamer did in order to get that that type of reaction from them? Or do you think it's even fake? All you think it's all fake to begin with? I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't. But I think he pissed somebody off, or he might have made some content prior to that, or years before that. Who knows? Could have. You, you never know. He could have burned the bridge. He could have just offended somebody and something he said or something he did. And they could be on. It could, it could be what whatever he chooses to like could have caused them to not want him there. It, it could have been a lot of different things. I don't know. But spam it if y'all got any information. But I just know the mob and mafia, they ain't nothing you want to play with. Straight up. At all. You don't want to play with them. The Hollywood viewing point is marked with a blood drop. And people still think it's a conspiracy. They rub it in our faces, literally. Subliminal messages are everywhere. Share this to wake up a friend. Dear world, I have been told by many that the releasing of this truth may pose certain challenges in my life. But there are many institutions that this truth will be viewed as disruptive to their system of profit and gains. I want to live a happy and peaceful life and I pray for longevity. Not just for me, but for our entire species. Know that I would never harm myself nor anyone else for that matter. Nevertheless, if my life has to face certain challenges so that this planet can be saved, please do not let these trials that I may have to face be in vain. 
and pray for me as I am praying for you. Sincerely, Terrence Deshaun Howard, May 25th, 2019. Just so that it would always be known, you know, I should never walk out there alone or harm myself. So if something happens to me and someone says that um, he committed, but he did, no, I would never, ever do that. Know that somebody else did that. And this was 2019. We to need happen. to ask ourselves, why is this being released in 2024? They own it. So in a twisted turn of events, you get a text from JD saying, dude, did you hear about the guy in Bakersfield that got caught eating the human severed leg? I said, no, I went and read the article. Wow. But here's the really trippy part. Remember yesterday, I got on a train from Fresno to Sacramento. And it was delayed two hours because pedestrian contact with a train. So dude gets hit by a train and cuts his leg off. Then this cat Tellez grabs the leg and starts eating it. He's eating the severed leg from the contract contact with the train that held up my Amtrak yesterday. So the whole reason that I didn't get into Sacramento until seven o'clock at night was because somebody got their leg dropped off by a train and this dude was eating it what <sighs> they do some weird shit in bakersfield hey y'all want to know what's crazy <laughs> with that video what caught my attention was his name said 916 in it which is our area code so i was like oh bro he, he, he a tiktoker from sac man let me check him out let me support him let me go ahead and react to something and some of you guys might like what he has and go follow him and it run his page up so i'm like yeah he a local let me go ahead and support him so then when i seen that i'm like in his, his name what first day out 916 when he said all of that story just now bro i never heard that story i'm not even sure if that even made the news of course as y'all we would know like it ain't gonna make the news but it's just crazy. Like, bro, somebody leg out. And this man ate it. I don't think that made the news like actual news. It might have hit online. Like, you go search the article. But I don't think that made the news where they actually covering it like they cover everything else that just does not need to be covered. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. And as far as the subliminals with the blood drop, I've been to L.A. numerous times. I've never seen that before. And again, it's always in our face. And sometimes we distract it or don't pay attention to the subliminal messages. And that could be me sleeping, but I've never seen that before. So y'all let me know if y'all seen that before. For anybody that's li that live in LA or anybody that's you know traveled there before, let me know if y'all have seen that before. And if so, how long has been there? Let me know. <laughs> What's up, Yakub? I think it's so funny that nobody wants to talk about Mr. Yakub here. Who is Yakub? Mm, you should do some research. Do your research, Yakub, Y A K U B. Don't listen to the things I say. Go look up the information for yourself. Go look up Yakub, and people will understand how is it that comedic in Christianity is similar 
and where the differences happen. Something happened. And Mr. Yakub don't want to tell y'all. But y'all mad at me for telling you the truth. This is why you'll keep being ignorant and keep being laughed at as a community. It's what it is. Somebody in the comments was like, hey, bro, you need to check him out. He on the other side. He not for us. And it was funny because I had literally, right when I had saved, when I, when I had saved to this video and I seen the name Yaku with his picture, I hit pause. Right when I hit pause, I was like, hold on real quick. I don't know what I had to do. I was checking a, mess, uh, a comment that I was replying back to. Somebody replied back, so I was replying back to it. And... I see that comment pop up and I'm like, yo, you telling me this right as I'm saving the video. For sure, I made sure I go ahead and save that. So that's when I saved it and we got that out there. I'll post a little bit more about him, but that's a little bit in there for y'all. I had to drop a little bit in there for y'all. And another thing, with that earthquake in Indonesia, prayers to anybody that's watching from Indonesia, man. Nobody wish that up on nobody, but this is a crazy, this this is a crazy question I got for y'all. Anybody that live in California that's on the fault lines, myself included. We see how he just had to jump from one side to the other, and the whole ground damn near looked like it was swallowing them up, swallowing them up. Bro, imagine what the San Andreas fault line gonna do, or the other little fault lines we got that they don't tell us about. Imagine what those is gonna do, man. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm, in, I'm in California. Trust me, I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. Got circumstances. Got family. Some everybody can't get out with me yet. I'm trying to get out. But I'm just saying that's something for us to think about. We saw that. Imagine how it would be if it was the San Andreas fall line and the ones they don't tell us about. It's gonna be fifty times more worse. So plan ahead of time. Plan ahead of time, man. I mean, it ain't gonna be no way you could plan all the way, but try to plan ahead of time. Try. My dad, like, it was the night of his album release party. Yes. I coordinated the album release party. So what I mean when I say I coordinated it, I mean, I found the promoter, I found the club, you know what I'm saying? I found out how much Vaughn won't, and I put it all together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This was his album release party for Welcome to Oblock that was released on Halloween 2020. Yeah. So let me just break this down to you from my perspective, right? Uh, as we talked about earlier, King Von had a crazy reputation of, you know, being a, being a street gangster, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For doing a lot of street shit, being. Yeah. Um, so when I was a DJ for the short period of time in which I was, I used to be like nervous as before all his sets, you know what I'm saying? I used to be nervous, I didn't want to up. Cause I don't know what this nigga do if I fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him to spaz on me. You know what I mean? Like exactly what you mean. He was a very intimidated person. I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah. When he walk in the room, you feel his presence for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I had to make sure I was on type of my game for that shit. But when it came to his the night of his album release party, brother, the day I woke up, it just felt it felt crazy. Like it just felt different. It felt gloomy. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I was nervous, excited, anxious, or what, but I just had like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a big knot in my stomach. Yeah. Okay, this the morning of. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me share with this with you, right? So, like I said, I'm coordinating it. So, I'm in tune with the promoter. He calling me every five minutes. He's so motherfucking nervous. You know what I'm saying? Now, he wants me to come down to the club and help him decorate, like, put the King Von posters up. He wanted to put posters of King Von all throughout the club. He had some O-Block balloons he wanted to put up, because this is when we promote him, welcome to O-Block. Yeah. Now, all right, cool. I was, I, was, I was reluctant to help this man decorate this club. And the reason why I was, relu was reluctant to help him is because before I DJ for King Von, I used to DJ for an artist named Cowboy. I'm with the gang, I'm with the model, what you thinking? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was like the biggest song in 2018, 2019, right? Yes. I lost Cowboy Job the night in which I had spent the whole morning blasting Cowboy pictures all across the south side of Chicago. And by, that, by the end of that night, I was no longer Cowboy DJ. I had lost my job. I was sad, I was up, I was depressed. <clears throat> 
So when so, so when the promoter was asking me to help him post these King Von posters, I instantly thought about the cowboy shit. I'm like, man, last time I helped him off post a poster shit. That was the last time I heard from him. Yeah. That was the last time I worked for him. Yeah. I'm like, eh. Yeah. Let's not repeat that. I don't know. Damn. But you know what? Come on, bro. You go, you, 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 you steady asking me. And I know, you know what I'm saying? You trying to get this shit done. Come on, bro. And that's just me. I'm going to always be an I Come on, ass nigga. That's just me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If, if I got the time and the power to do it, I'm going to help out. So I say, I have to say, man, I help dude post them, put them pictures up in the club, put all the posters up, the old block balloons, all that shit. I help him decorate that shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, so for things to turn out the way they turned out, and with me sharing what I just shared with y'all, how y'all think I felt after that shit? Oh, man. I'm paying but it but 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 it opened my eyes and it showed me, bro. Trust your gut, bro. Trust your intuition, bro. You're not tweaking when it comes to your life, bro. Yeah. You're not tweaking, bro. You know what the fuck going on around you, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Pay attention to the energy around you. Pay attention to the vibrations around you. Pay attention when God talking to you. There you go. Watch this. I've been to a couple of Diddy parties. Now, I'm risking a lot by saying this because I know. As soon as I say that, all, all the assumptions are going to come in and all the, and if I don't say evil things were taking place, then I'm covering for them. And if I do say evil things were taking place, then I'm one of them ones like, yeah, Lecrae, expose it, expose it. You know what I'm saying? And I've been to lots of parties. I've been to Jamie Foxx. I've been with Snoop, T.I. Like, I've been to lots of places. Um, here's what I'll say. There are people who will test you. Mm. There are people who will see how far your limits are. And if you're willing to take a step, then they'll take two. I, I, in my personal experience, never saw anything where someone was like, you can't move any further unless you do X, Y, or Z. But what I did see was, if you do do X, Y, or Z, we'll keep coming. Because you're, you know, and that's how we all are. It's Psalm 1, right? Um, it says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, who does not stand in the way of sinners, who does not sit in the seat of mockers. You, you start walking, they're going to walk with you, and now you find yourself standing. They're like, oh, you stand? Well, if you stand, come sit. Now, the next thing you know, you're sitting. And, and so, it was never a situation where I, I felt forced to sit. It was a situation where I was asked, do, do you stand? Do you stand? And I'm like, I don't stand. Oh, okay, cool. And then I was left alone. Nah, bro, I ain't a fruitcake. What I, like, I, I done told you already. Like, what, what, what about me makes you think that I'm into that? Like, it's crazy. I don't get it. He's not, he's not about that life. He's not with it. I'm leaving him alone. Um, and and this is what I'll say. And I won't say whose party I was at or what party. But this is a crazy situation. One of these parties, and for me, I'll be honest. It was a mix of work. Because this is oftentimes where you go to connect with people, where you go to meet people. And I have met people here and I have built bonds and they have said, I have met actors and celebrities who said, man, thank you for being here. I needed your presence here. You're the reason why I know God is walking with me. And we've had conversations since where they're like, man, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Because how are you going to be a light if you're never in the dark? Now, I'm, now, if you cannot handle being in the dark, stay up out of certain places, right? Don't play tug of war by yourself. I never went to these events by myself. I was always with people who were walking in the light and we always had a mission. It was never just to go in there and wild out and, and, be, and be stupid. But the other side of the coin is, yes, if I'm, I'm a human, so I'm frail, I'm gonna be honest with you. There was moments for me of like, oh my gosh, I'm here, I'm part of the crew, like, look at me. Yes, I struggle with acceptance and wanting to be associated with greatness. And I got caught up in some of that nonsense internally, right? Um, but you would have never known that. What I will say is that one particular party, um, 
lots of big names. Um, there was an artist there who said, hey, Lecrae, around 1 a.m., make sure you're not here. Mm. And I was like, what? You just don't want to be here at 1 in the morning. And I was like, now, my pride kicked in, like, yo, you don't know me. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can handle myself. Like, I'm not some little church boy who ain't never seen nothing. Like, I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what you talking about? Well, it's probably 12, 30. I'm downstairs. Um, I go downstairs to the studio. I come up out the studio. And I'm headed back upstairs to, like, the main area where everyone's kind of congregating and hanging out. And uh, the music changed. It was, like, really hard and heavy at first. And then, you know, like, jamming, dancing music. And it was a little softer. You know, it was a little more sensual when I came out the studio and started going upstairs. And on my way upstairs, there was, like, this couch. Um... I won't say how the couch is designed because then that may give away whose party and whose house this was. There was a couch and on the couch, I saw a couple of guys really going at it hard and heavy. And um, man, and I was like, oh, you know, I, I, you know, my brain, I'm thinking, well, you know, the celebrity party, people do what they do. <laughs> Oh, Lord, bro. The stuff I hear with some... Hey. <laughs> bro, what y'all doing in that situation? They tell you to go home at 1, you gonna stay? I didn't get into a party one time for some crazy stuff. <laughs> and then I went to a party and I and, and I seen... I seen them getting... I, I seen the whole room... Start with a O. It was a whole room doing it. <laughs> bro, you see some crazy stuff, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't see that. My manager told me that dudes will come up. She, she said you will be tested. She did say that. She said they're going to ask you for that. Men and women. And then I never got asked from the men perspective. I didn't get that far to see it from that perspective. But I had got asked by the women and I said no or I didn't catch the hint or didn't just do certain things. And music, like I said, performing in LA for Coast to Coast, if y'all know who Coast to, what Coast to Coast is, the call some Def Jam, all that stuff stopped. It instantly started, now you self-made. You got to do it yourself because you didn't really follow the blueprint and they don't really... It's, it's it's weird, bro. It's weird, but I ain't go as far as Lecrae went. Lecrae went to a whole nother level, but hey, he saw something. He said what he saw. I think a lot of people's experiences are different, and some people have similar experiences when you into that type of lifestyle. But if you make music, spam it up in the comments if you got experiences like that. Like when we go live, I always start giving y'all more descriptions and details and stories, cause. When I start dropping some of it, some people in the comments don't like that. They be like, man, get to the video. So, y'all know what it is. When we start going live, man, I'll start telling y'all. Like, y'all have questions, go ahead, I'll answer them. Like, the first video will be a Q&A probably, where y'all could just go ahead and ask me questions out the ass. Like, whatever y'all want to ask, ask me. I'll go ahead and answer it. If that's what y'all want to do, spam it up. And then with the second one, we go live, then we go ahead and drop the video. So, y'all can know Q the person, not just me reacting. If that's what y'all want, let me know. My people out there, we have an upcoming eclipse, right? Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about it. April 8th, even though I was talking about it in fucking September. But nonetheless, you would say that's the moon, right? Right? Or, pardon self, you've been indoctrinated to believe that's the moon, right? Let me present to you Exhibit A. Yeah. The tree. Oh, Christians don't like that word. They don't. They are the biggest, and I, I repeat, the biggest offenders of idolatry. Facts. Do you know who they idolatrize? Jesus Christ. Facts. They just don't know it. Because they're indoctrinated. It's what they've been taught. You know, their faith is only based on what they've been taught. Just like you have faith in space. 
Do you know why you believe there's space and we're on a spinning ball? Because of what you've been taught. Not because of what you discovered or what you observed, because of what you've been taught. So, what's that say for everything you've been taught? <laughs> you already know. What's in front of that? What is that? That's the question. What is eclipsing the sun that is millions of miles away, right? <laughs> but our clouds get above the sun. <laughs> I can't believe this is even hard to convince. Even the, you know what's the funniest part? And I've said this so many times, and it's comical. Y'all believe in theories to be absolute fact. It's disgusting. The theory of gravity is only propped up by two other theories that cannot be proven, but taught in our schools as absolute fact. Just like the state that is not real is taught to be a race and not a religion. You ever think of that? Y'all better wake up. You only know what you've been taught. Peace to God. All right. So apparently, you has been asking me to speak on this whole solar eclipse shit, right? All right. <clears throat> Y'all wanted me to speak on it? Here it is. First of all, I don't know what the hell our dumbass government was thinking, even telling us this bullshit, when we all know that that's not the mother. These motherfuckers literally came on to Beyonce's internet and said, and I quote, that we need to stock up on food, we need to stock up on shit, we need to stock up on other shit, and we need to arm ourselves and all this other bullshit, right? Because of a solar fucking eclipse. Sweetheart. They must really mistake us for stupid. Like, they, they, they really do. Because when you really think about it, how many solar eclipses have we done witnessed over the last few years? How many warnings have we had? Think about that. We have not had not zero warning about an eclipse. We would just look up in the sky and be like, oh my God, an eclipse, and let's just take some pictures, and hopefully by the grace of God, we'll be able to get a, um, a good goddamn picture. And that's never the goddamn case. So with that being said, I'm going to need the government to stop playing God at this point. Because now at this point, they're putting the blame on God. Because what they don't want y'all to know is guess what, baby? Guess who can buy arms now? No background check needed. Ice. Doesn't even need to know. If y'all thinking the mother just crossed over here, ding, 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 ding. Let me tell you what a solar eclipse is gonna do, honey. The only thing this mother gonna do is black out the goddamn sun. That's literally fucking it. What they telling y'all to prepare for is when that sun blacks out. Them motherfuckers gonna go. Because what they thinking is, oh, if they're not gonna listen to the all of the cyber attack warnings that we have been getting left and from right about our water infrastructure, about our internet and all that shit getting cut the f off, because we're having all of this cyber attack warnings, they looking at y'all like, oh, if they ain't gonna listen to this shit, ooh, we gonna say a, we gonna say a solar eclipse did this shit. Bitch. Trying to fool, really, really, girl. Bye, y'all. Y'all, how, how how many solar eclipses have we had? 
within the last couple of years and we have not had a warning like this. Now we have cyber warnings up the mother ass. Then they want to blame that shit on the solar eclipse, girl, back. When that sun blacks out, they all go. That's literally all that shit is. Y'all can stop with the bullshit talk about some of solar eclipse is going to wipe this shit out. It's not. The most it's going to do is block the goddamn sun. Miss us with the bullshit. Like I said, they can carry arms now. No background needed. Ice doesn't even the doesn't even the mother know. And then here's the crazy part. Y'all remember when I said when old boy came out and said, and I quote, y'all are stupid to not know who I am and y'all will soon know who I am. So what America did was give, and I was being nice. I was being nice saying that there were 500,000 of them that think just like him. Come to find out the actual number is 2 million, baby. So there are 2 million of these motherfuckers and they call it got a ways. They're caught, got a ways for a fucking reason. Now these motherfuckers can um, take up arms now. And I'm pretty sure y'all didn't hear about the alerts about how um, there is an alarming rate of nationals, not from this country, taking target practice, honey. Oh, but y'all wanna blame that bullshit on the solar eclipse? Y'all ever heard that quote, never underestimate your opponent? So for the term, so for them to think like that about Americans or just about coming over here to do, the, do such a thing, never underestimate your opponent. I don't think we underestimating them though, as much as they underestimating us. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. And like I, I did bring this point up before, this is our backyard. They only been here for a little bit amount of time. So we know every, we know every detail. And yeah, they, war is battles. It's battles first. They might win a couple battles. They might even win the first one. But I, I very much doubt they gonna win the war if it was a war between us and them. We gonna take some L's though. We gonna, our numbers is gonna drop for sure. But it ain't gonna be nothing where we like. Y'all seen the movie Red Dawn? If y'all haven't, go check Red Dawn out. Original and the remake. Check it out. Yo! What the f***? What the f***? What the f***? How long is it going to take to rebuild this mayor? I think right now, sir, uh, listen. We shouldn't even be having that discussion right now. The discussion right now should be about the people, the souls, the lives that we're trying to save. Uh, there will be a time to discuss about a bridge and how we get a bridge back up. But right now, there are people in the water that we have to get out. And that's the only thing we should be talking about. Facts, man. Perfectly said. What is the ethnicity? What's the other ethnicity? <laughs> what is the... The mother is what and the father is what? I, okay, the reason I'm having no, a hard face. Oh my God, I'm scared. Hey, baby. the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, dog. Yo, it got to the point this nigga moved away. Like, come on, we gotta get cozy now, brother. Come on. No, no, no. So, I was telling Mark, my issue with you is that you be in the club. You that's, that's a... But you and he's been excommunicated too. from the black. Whoa, 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 
on now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm in the black community still. No, you're not. Come on. You've been executed. Stop it. Nah, it's bigger. No, 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 no. You've been executed. Men who are not loyal to the black community, we kick them out. He can't. He won't even, he won't even want to give He's you a hug. He's going to get some paperwork in the mail that lets him know we're snatching his melanin. Whoa! Whoa! No, 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 I'm black. I'm black, I'm black. In all honesty, Miss Tory, and let you know, I am absolutely not interested in being with you or any other Caucasian woman on any level. Thank you, please go. Dr. Marwan, thank you for coming on my show. Can I still get a handshake or do you think I'm too much? Nah, you... Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, come on. I'm gonna pray for you. I can't get a handshake no more? I'll give you a pound. Brother, come on. You can't give me a... I can't give you a handshake. All right. All right, you have a good day, Dr. Moore. Thank you. I appreciate you coming. Oh, man, it was great. Yeah, thank you. So we successfully had this woman, Riza Dr. Umar, and of course, he stood on business and respectfully declined multiple times. After this was over, I wanted to comfort Dr. Umar and let him know the truth about the situation. Damn. How y'all feel about that? I'm just, I'm just bringing that topic up because I want to see what y'all feel like. I want to see what y'all feel like because... There is people who feel like him, who probably is a part of the collective. There's people who feel like Davis, who's probably a part of the collective. And I feel like that's something that we need to find a common ground on. Let's find a similarity here. Let's find a similarity. Let's be able to, let, let's, let's have a conversation and see why we feel the way we feel. If anybody feels how they feel. And anybody that's neutral, that's just like, come on, bro, let's get over the topic. You are over the topic, but there's people who are like Dr. Umar or like Davis who, you know, they they got their issues. Before they before we could go as a collective further, we gotta go together as a collective. So you could be ready, I could be ready, but what if we got a Dr. Umar that's a part of the a part of the crew? What if we got somebody like Davis that's a part of the crew? Like we gotta be able to understand each other before we go further that's the whole point so y'all let me know what y'all feel about that topic i know it's a touchy topic but with all due respect to anybody i'm just trying to i'm trying to bring the uncomfortable topics to light so we can move further can't just sweep it under the rug we have to have a conversation let's see why each other feels what we feel that's 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 why i'm that's what i want to know so how y'all feel collective Spam it up in the comments. Let me know. I think that was kind of funny. Like, Dr. Umar was standing on business. He was not playing. He stood on what, he's, what he believes. He stood on it. You gotta respect him, man, whether you agree with him or not. But, yeah, let me know how y'all feel. Looking over Google Earth, I found this thing in the desert. Is it a cave? Is it a sinkhole? Is it some kind of secret portal to the center of the Earth? Well, I went to go find out. right over here somewhere. I'm going to continue on by foot for the last 100 yards or so. So as I'm driving out to this place, I am all alone. Oh, I can see it right there. There's no other cars. There's nobody else around. Yeah, it looks like a sinkhole or something like that. And I'm walking up to this big cave or sinkhole or something. And I see something in the bottom of this pit. <laughs> Whoa. Dang. There's somebody down there. And I think, what is somebody doing down there? And so I started to get a little freaked out. You know, I'm looking around for somebody's car. Or is somebody living down there and they heard me coming up, so they're like standing there trying to freak me out. I don't know what's going on, but I know that they're way down there and I'm way up here. So even if they did try to come up and, you know, and get me or something, uh, I would still be able to get to my car in time and just get out of there, you know? That's creepy. So I was just still trying to figure it out. Plus I was thinking like, is this like a, a piece of wood that looks like a person? Hello? Is this like a rock that looks like a person or something? I don't know what I'm thinking, to be honest. 
And so I'm just standing at this edge trying to figure out what is this thing and is it moving? Man, that is just really... Y'all agreed that maybe somebody was down there. I didn't see nothing. It was too dark for me, but y'all know the camera was right there. So, I mean, camera, y'all know how the camera could be. Like, you might not be able to see it on camera, but you can see it in real life. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with them. Y'all even believe them. For me, mm -hmm. y'all let me know what y'all feel. I don't think I would have been playing around because all it takes is one slip. You go down there, bro, you're going to break something, you're going to hurt yourself, and then you know whatever it is is down there, going to get your ass, and it's over. <laughs> it's all over, bro. Hold on, bro. So let me get this correct. Y'all trying to tell me that these reptilian skin suit wearing aliens don't exist. So I'm going to stick on this for a little while. Video after video after video of these damn things. And you explain it to me since you know it all. They real and they out there. Here goes. state of Missouri and the governor of Missouri was supposed to have annexed it. However, the state of Missouri doesn't confirm that. So it's not, I'm not sure if we're coming up in California still. It's getting kind of dark, so I'm going to throw my glow stick ahead of me to make sure there's no sudden drops or anything. If y'all been rocking with this channel since day one, we reacted to this early, early, early on. Early when this channel first started. I remember him throwing the glow stick. I remember him talking. But I don't remember the kids saying this bathroom is cool. That's what I don't remember. Y'all can let me know. I don't even remember what video that was. But I can say I don't remember the kids saying that in the background. I remember there were people in the background, but I, I thought it was adults. But I could be confusing that one with the Disneyland with the, the uh, ground opening up and the kid went underground and then it closed back up. I could be confusing it with that topic, but I don't remember a kid saying that. But I do remember that clip being on this channel early, early, early on. Spam it up if you've been here since then and you remember. Man, shout out to you, bro. Shout out to y'all, because I appreciate y'all if y'all stuck all the way through since then, man. That's been a minute ago.
I know there's going to be a shift. I know there's going to be a change. I know the aliens coming. I'm not going to be sitting here surprised. Yeah. I'm going to be ready. Alexa, is Oprah Winfrey wanted by police? From CNN.com, the criminal probe was opened after a team of three American experts hired by Winfrey gave police the results of their initial investigation, police said. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Everything that I said in this video is scripted. Diddy is accused of allegedly going on the run in his private jet after his home was raided by the police. His private jet was spotted headed to an island. Private jet owned by Sean P. Diddy Combs has left the United States. The flight path of the planes appears to be headed towards Cape Verde. Cape Verde has no extradition treaty with the United States, which means he can go there without being captured and sent back. Now it makes sense why these people are building bunkers. Now it makes sense why the military has been spotted throughout all these different cities. You have to understand that this planet is going through judgment right now. And these people are being judged for what they did to us. The best thing for you to do right now is to cleanse your vessel, connect with your spirit, connect with the earth, and raise your vibration because this solar eclipse is about to change everything. We are finally leaving the old world and we are entering the new world. After that four minutes of darkness, everything's going to change. I love I'm telling y'all they always hide the truth in plain sight sure is make a deal with me kid you can have the car and everything that goes along with it That's a Freemason sign ring. And, wait a minute, that's obviously the devil. I didn't even see the, I seen the ring, but not the Freemason symbol. Have y'all seen this in Antarctica? Look at that, y'all. I see why they don't want us to go to Antarctica. I see why it costs like $20,000 to go there. And then you also need an escort. But look at the halo on top of that sun, y'all. So not only there's a halo on top of the sun, but this halo is going around and connecting. Look, so what's on top of us? Look, it goes all the way around and connects. Look, what? Look, it goes all the way to the other side of that. What is that, y'all? Oh my goodness. And look at, and then there's something reflecting off of over here you see that there's something reflecting off of that but look how beautiful that is y'all mm. and over here too when have we ever seen things like this y'all when have we ever seen things like this there are many names for that but we know it as liberation or freedom because it's coming to peel back that firmament boy but this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace in. That was dope. <laughs> in Atlanta right now, you have something called Spelman College. You know who Spelman is, right? That's John D. Rockefeller's wife. Her last name oh, is Spelman. Funny. Last name is Spell. That's the man, wife. That's his wife. Look at Spellman down south. Man, we're gonna Google it right now. Google who Spell. Who, who look this up. Check this out. Mrs. Laura Spellman Rockefeller. Ooh. Ooh. Let's not talk about Morehouse. Let's not talk about. Look, all these medical colleges. 
go look, you think it goes back to somebody that's black? They don't. All these medical colleges go back to subsidiary and, and, and basically names or middle names or third grand. These are named after all these different medical colleges is named after John D. Rockefeller family. And you can trace them back. Just like you can trace back all the presidents to come from one entity, come from one bloodline, you can do the same thing with every medical college. Now, within the last 20 years, it's a bunch of new medical colleges that came up outside of that, which still follow the curriculum, but don't have their name. But when you start studying these names, man, they go back to John D. Rockefeller family, man. They go back to his family names. He owned these schools. That's why if you go in and you teach against them, you can get locked up and persecuted because he sits at the head of the federal directors in the federal Supreme Court. John D. Rockefeller, man, he controlled the damn world. Man, him and the Cornegies. The allegations are absolutely horrific. The parties had a reputation for being filled with drugs, orgies, and suspicious behavior around children. Breaking news. Diddy adopted a white child. <laughs> you still have beautiful parents, but you're my child also. Come on. Now, how the f did the Me Too movement miss this? Man. Where we hanging out and what we doing? We, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Um, I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. But for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and we're we going to go full, buck full crazy. Going crazy. Crazy. How did you make sure that people didn't take advantage of him? My mother used to tell me all the time, you need to stop telling people that you're going to be a big artist. I'm like, why? That's what I believe. That's what I think about myself. If I don't believe it, nobody else would. Though Diddy was extremely controversial, he also gave Usher freedom he never had. Greater than just being an artist, that man helped me understand life. He helped me understand what it was to be an artist. He helped me understand what it, be, what it was to be passionate about something. At the root of Usher's passion for music, was a kid looking for his father. There's nothing like a father's love. I suffered a long time making moves based off of the fact that I didn't have a dad. And I was the kind of kid that, you know, always wanted the most attention, so I would go over and beyond to make sure that I got it, whether it was dancing, singing, and that actually just turned into my talent. <laughs> Usher and Diddy started work on the album, and even though Usher's voice had changed, Diddy made Usher feel accepted. You may not be able to rap, you may not be able to sing, but there's something else that you could do. You know, a lot of our young brothers and sisters, there's nobody that's showing them and guiding them through, through the business. And as he broke free from the control of his mother, Usher found a father figure. Puff Daddy. Keep your dream going, baby. As a result of being around that man, I don't sleep to this day. I mean, this is a dude who just never slept. You're writing this song for like 30 motherfucking days. And that, that commitment, I picked up. And the winner is Usher. Usher. Usher! As Usher became one of the most committed artists in the industry, he also became notorious for his sex appeal. I just felt confident enough to tell anybody, this is who I am. Have you or do you make love to your own music? <laughs> Mr. Steal Your Woman is a long way from the church singer he started out as. I'm gonna be honest. This Diddy situation is getting getting out of hand, bro. Every day is something new just coming up on Diddy. This is crazy. Usher, one of my favorite like R and B singers. He one of my favorite, bro. Probably top of the line. Him, Trey Songs. Yeah, they up there, bro. They up there. They yeah, they up there. But again, I can see true for what it is as far as on the music level, like they personal level, personal things they doing. I can see. As far as the music, Usher make good music, bro. Can't can't knock that. Can't knock that. But we made it to the end of this. I tried to make this a long video for y'all, man. Y'all be asking for the long ones, so I was like, well, it's it's, it's the king's birthday, so let me go ahead and 
Get y'all on video. Let me rock out with y'all. I appreciate the collective, man. Thank you. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell so you always notify whenever we drop upload. I've seen some of y'all say y'all share the videos as well. I ain't even think about telling y'all to share the videos. I be forgetting. <laughs> if y'all do share the videos, thank you for that as well. Make sure you're hitting that bell so you always notify whenever we drop an upload. We dropped them four videos a week, man. Y'all know how we be coming. But I ain't gonna hold you until I see y'all in the next one. Y'all know what it is. We gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just check my count. Check. Sheesh, at the amount. You probably know.